all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow and in this video all i'm asking you is to just hang on tight right sit through it and learn something new from it and especially if you're a learning and beginning investor i'm just here to share with you guys the opportunities we look for and that we've experienced in the last week whether it's in the patreon the discord and even here on youtube i've talked about these ticker symbols here on youtube and they've all performed pretty well guys so i want to go ahead and share them with you guys just to show you that even though maybe your portfolio is a little bit in the red or the stock market isn't looking as interesting as it once was do not become discouraged or dismotivated there's opportunities every single day and that's what we do over at the discord and if you want to become part of it you're more than welcome to we look forward to having you join us and the link to the discord is down below and slots are filling up pretty quickly. We're 140 plus members already. And that's something you can become part of as well. But that's not the point of this video. Just stick on through. Five to six more minutes of your time is all I'm asking for. And I'm going to share with you guys these opportunities. So I went ahead and talked about OXY, Occidental Petroleum, on Wednesday, guys. I talked about it on Wednesday. And I had stated to watch this put option at the $25 strike price, it was sitting at 0.51 and it had actually jumped almost 4x on the day because it was sitting at a low of 0.14. And even though it showed minus 38%, it was actually up almost 300% on the day. Now, this was a put option I took a shot at and I was holding till the next day. But the whole point of telling everyone to watch it the next day is because once the stock got overextended, I was going to pay attention again to get on into it after I secured the profits from yesterday's put option to the next day. But I saw opportunity for every single investor to not stop watching this. So let's look what happened. So the next day it pulled back a little bit to the 24 and 40 cent range and it shot up to a high of $25 and 23 cents, almost right where it left off the day before. Now, when it pulled back, it pulled back to a low of $23 and some change. This pullback here after the stock option went up, it was at like 0.48 and it went all the way down to about 0.9 and some change on the day, guys, or around 0.8. At the end of the day, it went up about 100% on that put option after that run. Now, let me show you guys my results on that put option, okay? So, I went ahead... And I held it through the next day. 0 0.20. And the high here for me once I sold it was 0 0.70. 42% on that day's return. And the total return, 250%. Now, this doesn't happen every single day. And this isn't something I'm completely talking about just yet over at the Discord. But I will start sharing with you guys on the Discord the live updates on the options that I'm watching guys. And what we focus on is not the quantity or the amount of equity or how many contracts, if not percentages guys, this is our goal. This is what we focus on. We look for 20% plus on a good day. That's going to be great and a home run and then 10 to 20% a great day and a regular day is five to 10%. This was beyond expectations collectively in two days. 250% guys spectacular run here with this put option now after it jumped up for the day after I told everyone to watch it the day before this went up 100% and I took another 30% opportunity as it was pulling back because I had other trades to do so when I tell you guys towards the end of the videos to stay tuned on in it's for a reason now let's talk about some of the home runs we hit this week so one of the biggest home runs we hit this week was PTIX, guys. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was on Monday. I share this towards the second half of the videos. It was May 10th, and PTIX was at 235. Interesting enough, we caught it pretty close to its low in the pre-market, and you can see that right there. It was sitting close to 235, and it shot up to an 80% plus on the day. It was actually 120%. I just don't put that because it almost seems over exaggerating. But when you look at this option here, yeah, it's showing you guys. It doesn't go ahead and just me writing it out. But that is pretty impressive. 
on that opportunity to buy and sell. Not an option, but if not, in shares because it went up 120% in price per share. Not in an option play. So this was phenomenal on the charts. This was our home run to start off the week, guys. It was pretty strong and pretty interesting. Our other home run was right here, and that is Nerve, guys. It hit almost 20%, and that's what we look for as a home run on the day, and that is N-E-R-V, okay? I mentioned it pretty close to those lows there. Let's go ahead and look here where it was, on which day it was, right here at 262. Pulled back a little bit, hit a low of 253, and shot up for 15 to 20% day at the highs of the day, guys, within minutes. This happens usually within 20 to 30 minutes. That's our goal. We get in, we get out, guys. If this is something that interests you, you're more than welcome to join us, okay? And it will be awesome to have you guys join us because the more, the merrier, and the stronger we become because everyone has talents, everyone has something that you know that can bring to the table as a community, and that's the best part of being part of the community. Everyone is smart, intelligent over there, and has something to share and learn from each other, and we all collectively learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So what did we talk about this week over at the Patreon? So one of the first ones we talked about over at the Patreon was PLTR. And we went ahead and put this one on our weekly watch list, right? So I talked about this on the 8th. The 10th is what we started the week with. And this turned out to be a pretty decent opportunity for swing trade. Now, when I talk about these stocks, you can either look at them as a swing trade opportunity for 10 to 20%, or you can look at them as a great entry price opportunity, right? Based off the charts and stuff to go ahead and keep your average costs low or kind of keep everything strong for your long-term opportunity. So that's what we do here on the Patreon. In the Discord, we talk about speculative, quick moving plays that you definitely want to trade within the same day and very rarely hold towards the next day if it's an option. So the PLTR, right, on the 10th was sitting pretty strong. And then right on the 11th and the end of the 10th, it dipped. And it hit a low here of 1637. Within one single day, this stock went up close to 20% plus, guys. Right there. Okay? 20 to 25% on the day. Great swing trade opportunity for those that were watching it. We mentioned it on the weekend. And two days later, anything between 15 to 20% was very interesting in my opinion. And we saw it play out. Now, Peton, right? P-T-O-N was another one, which is Peloton. This one was hit hard, guys, with all the different speculation on their product and all that stuff and i started looking at it i looked at analysis ratings and everything going on with the stock as it was going down analysis ratings were actually upgrading the stock so we talked about this one right on the eighth right and it actually hit a nice little low here of about 81 dollars and it shot up to a high of 97 dollars when you do the math that right there was close to 20% just this week. So when you do everything put together, the stocks we watch every morning, the stocks that we're going to start talking about in option plays, the stocks we watch every single week, if you go ahead and just focus on one thing and not try to be everywhere at once, there's going to be an opportunity that's going to give you between 10 to 20% a week. And if you get with the rhythm, it can happen multiple times in the week, right? That's what we really look for, 10 to 20%. That's all I look for daily. Anything beyond that is a home run and we are on a roll. But for the most part, a realistic expectation of a really regular day, 5 to 10%, and 10 to 20% is the true goal and 20% plus our home runs. So even just on the Patreon stocks, if you watch them for their weakness and you watch closely, there's enough room for opportunity. And some of these stocks have room for even long-term opportunities to even get more than 10 to 20%. Maybe even flip over, you know, another 
you know, 40% or 50% beyond, you know, that point where you started watching it. But at the end of the day, there's nice swing trade opportunities consistently over at the Patreon. And daily, we have stocks we're watching that go up 10 to 20% on a regular day and 5 to 10% on a very bad day, actually. That's not our best um, expectation. But if we get it, we run with it. You know, we get in, we get out, we look for weakness. If there's stagnation, whatever it is that you're profiting, profits are profits, and 20% plus is a home run. So those of you that are feeling anywhere near discouraged in the market, I want you guys to know that right now the stock market is a little turbulent. There is worries of inflation, and then everything just dropped and it's going back up. So is it really going to continue going back up? Is it going to pull back? That's the big question going into next week. So... We have a lot of uncertainty, but through the uncertainty and the volatility, that's what we're going to continue to get through. And my channel, yes, I do chart analysis, and that's what's made me so successful in the market, guys. It's kind of boring. It's not a big channel, and a lot of people are just looking for hype. I'm not all about hype. I focus in on the raw data, and from there on out, I focus on being profitable consistently. I'm not looking for a one home run opportunity because that's what happens with these hype stocks. Okay. Everyone following one single stock or two or three single stocks and they're hoping that stock goes up and then it falls. They get burnt because that's the only opportunities they have all month. No, we look for opportunities every week, every day. The possibilities are endless and consistent guys. So if it's something that interests you, you can become part of the team over at Invest for Tomorrow or at Discord. Results are not going to be the same every single time, and they're not guaranteed. But if you go ahead, get your execution sharpened, and you're watching these opportunities, the opportunities are endless, and we're going to consistently be looking for them through any turbulence that the market goes through in any direction that the market goes through. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.